Hello there, Centurion fans. Here on beautiful freshwater Lake Travis in the Austin, Texas area, standing next to a gorgeous 2021 Centurion RI245. Uh, this is a, a salute to service edition, showing support for our troops and is uh, just beautiful with a really neat green metal flake with uh, decals throughout, uh, really neat upgraded soft touch flooring throughout the boat and sun deck and gunwales and uh, just a really unique um, set of features that sets us apart from any other boat on the water. So if you're looking for something unique and, uh, and a true wake monster, this is the boat for you. So I really like to do these exterior walk around videos and interior walk through videos. Just put every um, everything in perspective, full transparency, and uh, just highlighting the condition and amenities. So. Uh, you know, got a lot of buyers coming from out of state these days and uh, just really like to make sure that all expectations are met. So anyways, here we go. Let's do an exterior walk around here. Uh, I will mention the boat is in nearly flawless condition inside and out. There's uh, just two little spots where I think uh, there's two tiny little nicks in the gel coat and one little tiny scratch in the gel coat. Other than that, I will mention this boat was equipped with an, an upgraded option from the factory. It's got a, uh, a protective coated, sorry, protective coating film over much of the gel coat. And I will mention there's several areas where, uh, where that's a little bit deteriorated. Uh, it's my understanding um, the owner had one mishap with the, the guide poles on the trailer that resulted in most of it. But I will say that is easily fixed. We can either, uh, fix that uh, that film or completely remove it and just go with their traditional wax or uh, or ceramic coating but uh, i do want to mention that because you'll see it as we do the walk around video and uh, that is something that's easily fixed and we're willing to do so before sale but uh, let's get started back here at the uh, the transom area you'll see the uh, the wake tech down there including your your wake plates and stinger wake plate there in the center um, i will mention the only option that uh that I believe this boat is missing is the um, the stern thruster, which this boat is not equipped with. So I just like to exhibit full transparency, make sure you're aware of that. But uh, anyways, everything in great shape down here with the hardware and the, uh, the prop and the and the uh, the prop shaft in excellent shape. And a really nice big expansive swim platform back here with that really cool uh, customized soft touch flooring with the support troops or sorry support to service edition but uh nice expansive swim platform and you'll see a nice big area back here on the sun deck and uh storage that i'll that i'll uh hit on or that i'll touch on in the interior walkthrough let's go ahead and walk around the boat here i would like to mention you've got nice uh, anodized billet aluminum uh, features throughout including right here on this air vent cover uh, you'll notice uh, recessed stainless steel cleats all around, stainless steel gas cap. Uh, would like to point out the uh, the Roswell drop zone tower. That is a uh, an automatic tower, so you just unlock it, press a button, and it folds down if you need to limit your height profile for storage or transport or anything. Really nice feature there. We've got a, a nice big full coverage bimini offering coverage for your uh, friends and family. We've got board pockets up there, canvas in excellent shape. And you'll notice those uh, Roswell multi-directional speakers up there. And then the Roswell board racks, uh, really nice upgrade. So very well appointed tower there. And uh, I really love this color combo with the, the green metal flake and, uh, and the, the different uh, designs throughout on this uh, salute to service edition, but it's really attractive. This green metal flake really pops in the sunlight. I'll try to get some photos of that on the water and really put it in perspective, but uh, coming around here. So the, uh, the issues that I mentioned into the gel coat, the only things I've seen around the whole boat are one tiny little nick right there, tiny little nick right there, and this little scratch right here. Everything else that you'll see as we go around the boat, like right here, for instance, is just in that protective coating that we can easily address. So uh, really a non-issue there. So excellent condition. Uh, as we go down the, uh, the starboard side here, just uh, this boat has been kept under its own cover, under a covered dock for its entire life. So there's no oxidation on the boat. Uh, gel coat just popping in excellent shape. Plus it's got that protective film that helps out too. So just 
Couple little nicks in that film, like I mentioned. Right here, but uh, I'm not gonna point every one of those out because I've really highlighted that, but you'll notice your nice, uh, nice windshield right there. It's got a tint on it, really uh, keeping the glare out of the, the captain and passenger's eyes. But you'll notice the, the stars in here, designs and the salute to service right there, just uh, really cool designs. We go around the boat here just again a little more deterioration in that film that's the film right there nice stainless steel rub rail again recessed cleats and then that uh that soft touch flooring continuing on up here in the bow on the gunwales really neat touch there so come around the bow here everything in excellent shape i will mention the belly is free from any scratching. We don't beach our boats here in Central Texas, so there's some water spotting right there. Had the boat detailed a few weeks ago and uh, decided not to have it detailed for the marketing, but what we'll do is have it detailed prior to final sale for uh, for the new owner of this baby. But uh, anyways, excellent shape down there on the, on the, the belly and the keel. Really neat uh, features around here up on the bow with a stainless steel plate there with the Centurion logo and that uh that customized flooring up here uh stainless steel plate there and your bow eye it's really contemporary styling up here on the bow and you'll notice your uh your led docking lights there come on around to the uh, port side here again more of the same everything in excellent condition no uh no nicks or scratches into the gel coat on the port side i will mention there's some deterioration in that uh and that film again and you can see it i'll try to put it in perspective because you can kind of peel it back a little bit like right there but uh anyways easily addressed so again anodized billet aluminum accents with your stainless steel recessed cleats some more lighting here the tinted windshield roswell drop zone electric tower it's your uh correct craft here Correct Craft purchased uh, Centurion, I think it was back in around 2018. So, you know, really upped uh, Centurion's game back then. Started using the PCM engines, which are tried and true, super, uh, super reliable engines. This one's got the, uh, the PCM ZZ6 with 450 horsepower, 465 foot pounds of torque. Just a uh, really nice power plant. There's only 214 hours, um, single owner. Lake Travis kept its entire life, so 100% fresh water. Again, back here, you'll see that uh, that green metal flake just popping in the sunlight right there. Really attractive. Go ahead and pop down here again. Just highlight the condition of the uh, the wave tech and all the hard, uh, sorry, wake tech and all the hardware down there. Everything in excellent shape, including the uh, the swim deck. Uh, the swim deck has a, a separate cover, so you'll see there's no oxidation on it. It's been uh, protected from the elements and that soft touch flooring, just in excellent shape. But uh, I think that'll about do it for the exterior walk around on this 2021 Centurion RI245. I'd love the opportunity to show you this baby in person. Get out here, listen to some tunes, kick out some wakes, and uh, anyways, float and giggle. But thanks for watching. Adios.